I see how honest you are. And not just in your writing. You're honest with yourself and with others. I've come here to see Lucas and to see you, of course, but if I'm being completely honest, I've come because my husband, he left me. Lucas doesn't know. I trust you'll maintain my confidence. Why didn't you tell me? You knew my father left my mother, yet you didn't think you should tell me in case I might have helped. Your mother confided in me. She specifically asked me not to tell you, Lucas. I, I wanted to respect her request. This isn't my fault. I was all right for a while. I could smile for a while. Then I saw you last night. Wait. Elizabeth, what upset me about not knowing my parents had separated wasn't just that you didn't tell me. It was that I thought that they loved each other. I can only tell you what I told your mother. Love has to be fought for. And maybe she needed to be the one to reach out first. What would you know about it? family is moving into Henry's. Everyone's bringing pies and casseroles, so I thought I'd bring food for the soul. You, but it's true, so true. I love you even more than I did before. But darling, what can eating at the salon. I have some business that I thought would be better conducted here. Hello. I'm actually here to see Minnie, so I will let you two get to your business. To know what that means? My mother. She's a fan. A fan of what exactly? Your work. You sent them to your mother without asking me? I was worried that you would say no. <sighs> All the more reason for you to ask. They're not ready, Lucas. I'm still working on them. She's willing to send them to a publisher. She thinks that your writing is that good. Lucas, you can't just take someone's writing and send it to whomever you please. I trust her opinion. Do you trust mine? Yes, of course, but that's not the point here. But this is what you wanted, isn't it? Just let her go. I am so sorry that you got tangled up in this. It's a little late for that now, isn't it? Drop the weapon! Here. No, thank you.
Hi. I came to let you know that Allie Grant stopped by to talk to me. I saw her coming out of the saloon. Evidently, you assured her that you and Nathan would work things out. And we will. No one wants Allie remaining caught in the middle of this. I don't want to be caught in the middle either, Lucas. I, I didn't realize that you felt that way. you to be here. I was just finishing up. I find that to be both inspirational and potentially reckless at the same time. Like rushing into a burning building to save a friend? I just reacted. Lucas, I have a son and your past ties could have taken me from him. I wouldn't have let anything happen to you without fear and without hesitation. I would have done whatever it took to keep you safe. Elizabeth. About those chapters. I'm really very sorry. I see now that sending them should have been completely your choice. Well, I suppose your heart was in the right place. Still, I was very much out of line. In the future, please just, just ask me first. Believe me, I have learned my lesson. Please know. I am always here if you need me. I thought I'd take my own advice and be the first to reach out. Serendipitous? I was just trying to find you. I want to apologize for not being more forthright. Thank you. That doesn't give me any right to have spoken to you the way that I did. I'm sorry. I told Nathan that I can't give him what he wants, that I won't be seeing him anymore. What could that mean for us? I 
I told you I would wait as long as I had to. You're all that matters. You're all that's important. Okay. The others are mushrooms. Sorry, Gustav. What? The mushrooms. I'll go to the mercantile. That might have some.